Hey everybody, today is the weekly vlog slash the monthly vlog because I haven't made a weekly vlog in a few months, maybe a month, I don't know, or so. But today we're really going to be doing a little gardening, uh, tearing up some of the garden beds. We're going to make a whole new design of the garden this year, so you guys stay tuned for that. It's going to be uh, a surprise. It's going to look nice though. It may cost a little money, but it's going to look nice. And maybe 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 i might get into my beehive if you guys go back to the last video you guys will know why i say maybe I'm a little hesitant because i am allergic to bees sadly but i may get into the beehive you just gotta stay tuned to see i don't know i, I really don't know anyways let's get on to the garden part So basically all I really did was just took up some of my garden beds and basically mowed it down on a low setting because we're literally restarting the whole garden over. And I had mint over here that was like, I don't know, been here for maybe like two years or so that I planted a while back two years ago. And I basically just tore it all up because we're just really starting the whole garden over again. Like I said, we're, we may even be making it a little bigger. I don't know. But and I'm just trying to find something else to do because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do beekeeping no more. I have an appointment in March. That's the only day they had to uh, schedule my appointment. So I have an appointment in March. I will keep you guys updated about the bees. But I will still continue gardening because I don't think I'm allergic to gardening yet. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, that, that may be the next thing. But anyways, <sighs> let's get in the beehive. <laughs> I'm so nervous to do this, I really am. And I've never said those words in my life. I've always loved getting in my beehive. But you know, you know, I don't know. I, I just love beekeeping. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Anyways, it's 60 degrees out today. It's really nice out today. So I figure it's winter too and it's Indiana. I don't know why it's like that. But let's get in the beehive. Now, usually I don't put on a full suit, but I'm going to put on a full suit this time because of allergic. All right, let me dust this suit off. I don't know if there's spiders or anything that could be in here. This I haven't worn this suit too much, as you can tell how white it is. But my auntie bought me this suit. Thank you. I really appreciate it. This is my first bee suit I really ever gotten, and I really like this bee suit. It's just, I mean, I got so used to wearing my jacket and. Getting you're so used to being lazy, not put, wanting to put the whole suit on. And I just started putting this on. So, like I said, it is 60 degrees out today, so it is perfectly fine for me to get in the beehive. I'm probably not going to lift up too many frames. I might not even lift up any frames because it is till winter, even though it is 60 degrees out. But hey, our ozone layer is changing, our earth is changing. So, yeah. Ooh, I'm about to fall over. Three, two, one. It is very hard to put a bee suit on when you have boots on. I just noticed that. Oh, oh. I just noticed it because I don't ever wear a bee suit. I hope I don't get stung because I'm going to have to use the EpiPen. And those of you guys who know me personally know that I hate needles i hate doctors i hate everything it's kind of weird how i hate needles or oh, everybody hates needles but i'm a beekeeper and they're technically a big old flying needle all right <laughs> i hope you guys heard that zip that was kind of satisfying i don't even know if you guys can still hear me you guys should be able to still hear me all righty so the things i'm going to be using to fill up my smoker today is uh just garden things, so leaves. I love heating up the smoker, even though sometimes I have difficulties with it. 
It just makes me feel like I'm in the mood of beekeeping again. Eh, kind of. You guys really don't understand how nervous I am right now getting in the beehive. Because, I mean, when I went to the doctor, I had spots all over my body. Hives. Basically hives. Look at that smoke, man. <laughs> Alright, let's get on to the bees. Alrighty. Let me clear you guys off a little bit. Got you guys all smoked up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, bees, please treat me nice. Please treat me nice. I would really, really appreciate it. You guys will save me a hospital trip, an emergency trip, and all the other trips you could think of. Okay, so I put some candy in here. A little candy block and it looks like they're just now starting to get to it so that makes me know that they have plenty of honey in here if they're just now starting to eat it I'm guessing they already had a good amount of honey in here so let me show you guys they look like a little bit so that's what they look like right now I'm not going to do too much taking every anything out I'm just Trying to show you guys about the bees. They're still alive. They're doing really, really good. The RV, these are VSH bees, so Varroa sensitive mites. They are doing very good. I love these bees. If any of you guys want to go check them out, Tree City Bee Company, they'll get you right. <laughs> I'm telling you that. He messed up with these, these ones first, but and then he gave me basically a whole free hive, so I really appreciate that. You didn't have to do all that, but I really appreciate it. That just shows you how dedicated they are to having good product and good bees. Let's put that back on there. I don't feel too comfortable enough opening or getting or picking up a hive yet today, so I'm not going to do that. I thought I would, but now getting into them, I'm not feeling too comfortable yet. But maybe in the future, if I'm still doing it, I will be comfortable. I have to be comfortable because that's the part of being a beekeeper is being comfortable with bees. <laughs> 